Hi everyone and welcome to another reading vlog. This has actually been a while since I've done any of these, but I plan to do more of them. So if you haven't seen it in my weekly update video, I actually plan to do one of these reading vlogs either once every month or once every other month, depending on life and what's happening, of course, on the site as well, whether or not I have time. Now, I have done one reading vlog this year and that was a spoiler filled reading vlog for Way of Kings. So I had footage that spanned over the course of three months and I actually didn't really like the editing of that because a lot of those things I actually didn't really remember. And so editing was difficult. <laughs> so that is why these reading vlogs, I actually plan to either film over the course of one day, so a 24 hour reading vlog or 48 hour reading vlogs. And then maybe sometimes when it's really a longer book, because I do want to finish one whole book in those reading vlogs, it might be a weekly reading vlog, but very short vlogs to say the least. And since I do like a little bit of suspense and a surprise, I am planning on letting all of you choose which book I read. So in my last TBR video, I gave you two options, either The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle or Stardust by Neil Gaiman. And it was a very close poll because I did upload a poll after that on the community tab, but Stardust won. So this is the book that I am hopefully going to read today. It's the 25th of June, it's a Saturday, and I don't really have a lot planned. This afternoon I do have some reading sprints together with Emily. I will link her channel down below. So hopefully that means that I will make a lot of progress in this book this afternoon. And since there is a movie made, influenced by, all of the events in this book. I don't know how closely it follows this story, but there is a movie called Stardust with Nicole Kidman, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm definitely going to watch that one this evening or either tomorrow if I can't finish the book in time. I do want to finish the book before watching the movie, but if I don't finish it and I watch it tomorrow, I will still include that in this vlog. So this is either going to be a 24 hour reading vlog if I finish it in one day or 48 hours. We will see. But now it's 10 p.m. Bika 10 p.m. It's 10 a.m. because yesterday I was on Steve's Friday Conversations video, so it was 3 a.m. while I, when I went to sleep. So that's why it's a little bit later today, so I definitely need to get going. So first I'm going to get some coffee, then I'm going to answer some comments that all of you left me on my last video with summer recommendations, and then I'm going to start reading. I just realized that I didn't really tell you anything about the premise of Stardust, so let's do that now. Stardust is a fairy tale in which we follow a boy who lives in Wall, which is a city somewhere in the UK, and it shares a wall with Fairyland. Now, this boy is in love with a girl, and she agrees to marry him if he brings her back a fallen star that they see falling somewhere in Fairyland. So in order to bring it back, he needs to go on an adventure, go into Fairyland, and find back that star. And it's his journey that we follow. So a quick update right now, I am 27 pages in, so 10% I finished the first chapter, which is called In which we learn of the village of Wall and of the curious thing that occurs there every nine years. I really like how the beginnings of these chapters look. It's so far I'm really enjoying this book. Um, I must say that I was a little bit surprised. This is actually portal fantasy, I didn't know that. So once they started talking about London and cars, a little bit thrown back because it feels like the very traditional fairy tale it feels very fantastical magical so then having cars into the mix was a little bit weird but it was only mentioned once and to be honest while i was continuing reading i was actually forgetting that that it was portal fantasy and it felt more magical so I'm really loving it so far. I'm glad that Neil Gaiman is an author that I was predicting to be a five-star author and that it's actually true because sometimes you go into a story with very high expectations and then even if it's a fine book but it's not great, you are a little bit disappointed. But so far I am enjoying it and it's exactly what I expected it to be actually. So yes, definitely want to know more and about fairies and the fairy market. And this actually reminded me a little bit of Juliette Merlier's Wildwood Dancing book that I recently read with this also portal fantasy where people go to the fairy market I think every full moon so this is a little bit different but it reminded me and I'm loving it so far so currently it is noon so I'm going to get some food and then at 1 p.m I have those reading sprints so then I can make some more progress but yes I am fairly positive that I would be able to finish this one today 
Okay, so here you probably need a little bit of context. While I was doing my 24 hour reading vlog stuff, my husband and his mom were working in the garden and it was a little bit of a surprise that his mom decided to help him. All of a sudden she was there in the morning. I heard that you needed to work in the garden, so I'm here to help you, which of course was extremely nice. And that is also why I decided to go to the sandwich shop, which is pretty close to our home and just bring something home for lunch so that when they were taking a break, they could also eat something. And it's just so easy to have this close by because we don't really live in the middle of a city. So just having these small businesses, it's amazing. Plus they do have some very good sandwiches. So that's nice. My husband was very excited as you can see. And well, my mother-in-law also has this little doggy. It's called Maurice. And my dogs are not the biggest fans. They are a little bit jealous that Maurice is also in the garden. This is their garden. So Leo was, yeah, he was barking here. <laughs> Here, of course, I am doing these reading sprints together with Emily, Hugo was there, and a lot of people in the chat. Thanks you for being there. It was so amazing and just a fun afternoon, and I made a lot of progress in Stardust. And there, yes, the page number is at the top. So quick update because it's currently 4 p.m. and we just had those reading sprints together with Emily. Hugo was there a small part of the time as well and of course some of you in the chat and I had a lovely time. I made quite a bit of progress in Stardust, happy with that. And if you are not able or you were not able to join but you want to in the future, do know that I plan to do this once every month and hopefully it will be at a time that you can attend in the future. By the way, if you hear my dogs barking at some point in this clip, they are outside with me and there are pigeons flying around and my dogs are not happy with that so that can definitely happen but so far i have made it up to the start or a little bit into chapter five there are 10 chapters in total i'm 100 pages in it's a 220 page book so i'm a little bit around the halfway point so far i was a little bit surprised first of all because i don't really read a premise that closely i don't really pay attention to the names and i was thinking that we were following different characters than the characters that we now end up with and we have the dogs, yes, of course. And we also have a couple of characters that I was not expecting. I thought that we were going to follow one character in particular, but we have different plot points, we have different people who are looking for the star, and we follow all of them. So that does mean that you know what is going to happen because you know all of their plans, but it gives it a sort of chaos and a sort of absurdity that I'm really liking. Also, the fairy tale esque writing style is just beautiful, and I do think that even though a lot of people say that this is not Neil Gaiman's strong, strongest book yet, that I definitely want to read more by him because this one is quite good so far. So I'm going to read a little bit more now. In two hours time I need to go to my parents' place and then I think that this evening we will start watching the movie. I don't know if we will be able to finish it, but if we only watch part I will watch the other half tomorrow. So and then I will also include that in this video, but the book will be read in one day. So I actually thought that we had met all of the characters, but I was barely a couple of pages in and we met another one and it was even more absurd. I actually really liked that addition to the story as well. Now I must say that this does have an omnipresent narrator, it's really somebody telling you the story, you know all of the POVs and all of the things that they are planning to do, so it does take away a little bit of the tension, but on the other side it does also help because you know what's going to happen, you know when all of them are going to come together and when things are really going to get wild. So by now I have finished the book Stardust by Neil Gaiman and the movie Stardust and I must say that I really loved both even though they were a little bit different. I felt like in the start both of them are almost exact copies of one another. The, of course because the book is only 200 pages you can almost completely film it exactly the same because there's not a lot that you need to scrap but towards the end it was very different and I actually liked the movie more which is a surprise, at least to me, because normally the book is better than the movie, but here I liked how the movie did everything. How they had these different players and how they all came together and how there was a grand finale. I love that. Now the absolute ending ending, where I mean what happened to our main characters, I actually liked maybe the book a little bit more, it was more bittersweet, but both of them worked. So I'm actually really glad that I both read the book, but also watched the movie, because they were great in their own way. Now, as far as the book goes, I really enjoyed it. I don't think that it's an absolute masterpiece, I don't think that it will work for everybody, but as far as original fairy tales go, this was just perfect. I really enjoyed the humor, how absurd it felt at times, and I do think that that's translated very well into the movie, but I also liked the darker parts, which really felt like a fairy tale. Like, the witches were absolutely horrendous, and they did 
horrible stuff. And I really liked how you got that balance and that also added to the absurdity. But in the end, I really enjoyed it. I think that if I only read the book, I would probably have less complaints. But now because I saw the movie and I know how the author could have done it, I think that I would probably have liked it being written in that way a little bit more. But all in all, one that I would definitely recommend if you like fairy tales. Now, Please let me know if you have read multiple Neil Gaiman books where I need to continue now because I definitely want to read more by him. So I'm so happy that I finally picked it up. Neil Gaiman was an author that I've been wanting to read for multiple years now. And I actually wanted to start with The Ocean at the End of the Lane, but it worked out reading Stardust. I'm really in my fairy tale mood, so this is absolutely perfect. As always, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have read Stardust and what your opinions are here. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!